そろオラとやろうぜうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんeverybody we're hopping into a video here on jp dokkan gonna be hopping into the broly fight here with some of the eighth anniversary lrs we got the fifth anniversary fusion easy a's and we've got the seventh anniversary lrs so right now on jp the movie red zone has unlimited stages so i figured hey uh there's not a better time to do this so why not now hop in and try to get the no item run here on my jp account in the broly fight so this is kind of what we're looking at right now. This is probably the strongest team I can make at the moment. There's a few characters I could swap in here or there. Um, but these are the characters I wanted to bring. I actually have cleared this fight before, but I did have to use items. So we've got Tech Vegito here at 55%. We do have his uh, unique equips from the 8th Anniversary Battle event. If you don't know what that is, um, I think I cover it briefly in my 8th uh, Anniversary is Coming Soon breakdown video. So check that out. But just to kind of go over that, it's a special event that comes out that gives you unique equips basically for all of the anniversary characters released. So STR Gogeta, Int Janemba, um, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Int Vegito, Physical Gogeta, the Super Saiyan ones from the third anniversary, you know, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku, STR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, um, you know, uh, Tech Vegito, STR Gogeta. AGL UI, Int, Evolution Blue Vegeta, uh, the two 7th Anniversary LRs, the LR Super Saiyan 4s, the LR Gods, and then of course the 8th Anniversary LRs, the Boo Saga unit here, and the GT Spirit Bomb unit. So, listen, I, I was sweating there trying to remember all the Anniversary units. So anyway, we have him at 55%. We've got the Gods here at 69%, again with their equips, full link level 10. Uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s, I believe it's 79%, yep. So they have access to their gold equip as well. Um, these equips are very nice because they give a ton of stats to your defense. So it, it really helps boost that up because, you know, like a lot of characters, uh, like these guys already easy aid, right? Or at least on JP they did for, during the 8th anniversary. And, um, you know, LR easy A's don't buff their stats up. So this is, these equips are really the only way that they're getting extra stats. And they are pretty huge. Like this is plus 800 defense. And then this one is plus 400 defense. And then I believe... Uh, the gold is a plus another 600. So what is that? A total of 1,800 defense that they're getting? Uh, pretty good. Plus the other effects that they're giving. So we've got them. Uh, we've got the friend LR uh, Spirit Bomb unit. Yeah, not quite full link level 10, but they are rainbowed, which is nice. Uh, no dodge, which is fine for this fight. Uh, here's mine. Also 55%. Again, these are the unique equips. And then... Oh, no, that's the same one. Then we've got the GT Spirit Bomb unit, 69% unique equips. Um, kind of a balanced build there. And then STR Gogeta is at 55% as well. So it's going to be a little spooky for this guy. But if we can just kind of float him and not have to worry about him, we should be okay. Now, the strongest thing about these Blue Fusion EZAs... Sorry, I'm rambling on a little bit here. But, you know, I kind of want to talk about this. So uh, the Blue Fusion EZAs, their most powerful ability that they got on their EZA was on turn 4 when they transform, or turn 5 or 6, depending on when you float them off, right? Um, they have a... Uh, they, they get guaranteed dodging whenever they first go blue. So that's like their most powerful ability. And of course, here against Broly, we can't dodge, so we're not going to be able to take advantage of that. Same thing with the gods. So we're going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage here, but I'm hoping that with... You know, one of these units being in standby, we can help hold down slot one. And then if we need it, hopefully we can get this guy's revive and just pop that whenever we need it to. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and float him off. I'm going to leave these two on rotation. Um, here's a bad thing kind of about all of these units is that they have prepared for battle as their main key link. They have shocking speed and he has over in a flash. Luckily, you know, they get extra key per key sphere and this guy gets a ton of key whenever he attacks. But, uh, you know, it's still, like, a little annoying because they need to, both of the first two units, the Gods and the LR Super Saiyan 4s, need to hit certain key levels in their passive to get their full key passive. 
and uh, you know on a setup like this where you know we didn't have very good opening key uh, we don't really have any support nobody shares any key links it's, it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle so hopefully we can get this set up here in a minute where we can kind of get these guys next to the uh, GT spirit bomb unit um, that way they can get their four key from or well they can get two key from GT and then like get this unit next to the gods but we'll, we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see how things are going um, so this is going to wrap up this turn here. We're going to move into the, listen, uh, I'm just going to say this, I, you know, I, I feel like I get double leader rotations a lot, but not as often do I get double leader rotations or I, I get double leader rotations way more often with this eighth anniversary LR duo right here than like any other unit. Now I could stand by here. But I'm not going to. Um, Broly just supered, so if he's going to super again, it's probably going to be at the end or in the middle here. It's probably not going to be getting, so I feel decently safe to put... Excuse me. Sorry, I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to do, actually do this. And we're just going to do this, that way they can start building up a little bit. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I'm like, suddenly my nose is like clogged up. And it feels like I have something in it. Oh, that hurt. Uh, this unit, they're only going to do like one super attack. And I, they're not going to be at double digits after they do a super attack. So, also get lucky and they, no, yeah, see. Okay, that's fine. Well, well, the other two units on this rotation will be fine. This unit could do like, what, four super attacks? Because they're going to do this one. They have like a 70% chance to do another one because they were at 24 key. And then they have a uh, guaranteed one at 18 key. And then they could do the hidden potential one, so we'll see what they do here. This is two so far. Will they get three? Yeah, or well, I guess they are going to get three. If you get two, you're going to get three. Um, if you're at, you know, 24 key. And then let's see if they get the hidden potential one. Nice. Okay, so they have four attacks built up. That builds them up a 40% crit chance as well, which is nice. Also builds them up some key. Every super attack, the 8th anniversary LRs do, gives them one key, and that is uncapped. Very good. Now, this unit... This unit should also be able to get four supers. We'll see if they do. Alright, there's one. Well, I guess they're gonna kill, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so there's two for them. Uh, gonna be a little spooky going into this next rotation. Actually, we, we are probably dead here. Uh, in fact, yeah, we're, <laughs> we are actually definitely dead here. Uh, double seventh anniversary LRs and STR Gogeta, and we have no HP. Maybe I should have revived on that last turn, but I think we still probably would have died here. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's give them some key. Let's give this guy some key. Now, I said I wanted to go for the no item here, but it doesn't look, look like that's going to happen. So, actually, I am. Listen, I know we were going for the no. We're just going to use the Sinzu. We're just going to turn this into a general team showcase. Because uh, there's, this, there's a chance here that even though we use that item, we're still going to die here. <laughs> yeah. Th this is the weakness for the gods in the Super Saiyan 4s. But, I mean, what was I supposed to do? Leave Tech Vegito on rotation? Who would have had, like, the same weakness? So, yeah, we're, we were kind of in a bind here. We got a bad opening rotation in that we got, you know, all three of the 8th anniversary. Okay. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, I think this just kills us. Well, that's, that's okay. We'll be able to hop back in and actually try to go for the no item run here. I'm going to pause. We'll come back at Tech Broly. All right, we're going to be moving into Tech Broly here. We got much better opening rotations. So we have the GT Spirit Bomb unit with LR Super Saiyan 4 uh, Gogeta, which is the like Goku and Vegeta. Then we have the gods over with the friend Spirit Bomb unit, uh, Boo Saga Spirit Bomb unit. So much better opening rotations. This unit got several super attacks. I don't remember exactly how many. I think three. I think it got, they got three. So I'll be able to run them in slot one pretty comfortably at the moment. We can give them a bunch of key here. We can also get this unit a bunch of keys, so they should be pretty safe. And then, yep, there we go. We can get the 18 key with the Boo Saga Spirit Bomb unit. Not bad at all. All right, this is going to do a little bit of damage, but it shouldn't do too much because they've built up some damage reduction now. Of course, we would have liked this after we super, but that's okay. Uh, we actually do want to take a little bit of damage here anyway, just because we want to get in range to stand by during the AoE phase. That's probably going to be the most strategic place to use, like, this unit's revive is during that AoE phase. So we're, we're going to aim for that. 
All right, this unit should have the potential to do four super attacks. This unit has like a mechanic where if you get them the 23 key, and just because of how they're building up, it counts in their passive as like getting to 24 key, which activates their other additional. So they should have the potential to do like one more here. Okay, they didn't do it, but they I think they could have. Still, uh, every super attack they're doing is stacking attack, which is just going to make their standby spirit bomb revive hit just that much harder. So that's generally, in my experience, what leads to that GT unit just hitting a lot harder than the Boo Saga unit is generally I feel kind of rushed or pressed to use that spirit bomb uh, attack like faster than I should sometimes. Whereas with this unit, it's just like, all right, it, it, we need to revive now, but kind of we can delay it a little bit. And um, it, there's ways to like make it hit harder just depending on how your RNG is, you know, if you're getting additionals and whatnot. So it, it's kind of interesting playing around with these units. You got to kind of decide, okay, which, you know, which Boo Saga unit am I going to stand by with? Am I going to stand by with my friend one or am I going to stand by with mine? When am I going to stand by? Um, hang on, I got to give this. Sorry, we had to give that boy his moment. Okay, listen. When, uh, when, when Gogeta is dancing, you give him his time of day, right? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's try to just get one more stack in with the friend of Usagi unit here. I don't think they actually have any up to this point. Um, just because we got them in the second rotation and this guy had about this much health left and the gods just got their super attacks in last turn. So, haven't really done much with them. Now, what do I, we'll just heal up a little bit with this guy. We'll take a little bit of damage here. Okay, we're not. Unless he super attacks? No, okay. So they're gonna get one stack in here. Uh, not the worst ever. At least it builds up some key and crit chance, right? Alright, so next rotation, we should be able to stand by with the GT Spirit Bomb, and we're probably going to do that and transform into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and we have a uh, Vegito here. So just depending on where Broly super attacks, we might be able to do some super massive damage to him before he... Um, actually AoEs us, but it'll it'll just depend on where he's dropping the AoE, right, and what our orbs look like a little bit. Pretty good orbs, actually. Okay, we're gonna do this, and let's go ahead and transform with Super Saiyan 4 uh, Gogeta. Actually, let's stand by first, actually. Let's, let's stand by first. Sorry, listen, I, I love the LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta theme. It's too much to uh to have, you know, just fused with him and then wiped away this beautiful OST with the standby. Not that the standby is bad, but listen, it's not this guy, right? Listen, look at look at him standing there. Listen, Vegeta's cool, right? But like Vegeta's just kind of like floating. This dude is look at him, arms back. Listen. This guy is going to easy A in, like, 2025. That sounds crazy, right? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be there. You know, uh, I, I will be there no matter what. <laughs> Listen, you will. I will resurrect from the grave if I die between now and then, and I will be there. All right, we're going to go ahead and get him up to full key. Now, Vegeta here. <laughs> uh, the reason why this is really good is this guy, if you look right here in his passive, it, it's kind of hard to read. I know it's in Japanese, right? But you see this? And you see this? He's giving 8 key and 80% attack to the whole rotation. So, uh, you know, needless to say, Gogeta's going to do some big boy damage here. <laughs> All right, so assuming if Broly just super attacks us immediately in this slot 1, 
that'll be the saddest thing ever because we'll just die. Maybe we get the counter with this guy, and that'd be nice because it will get us some extra damage. But um, otherwise, like it's just gonna kill these two, right? So uh, that'd be un that'd be unfortunate because then we'd be missing out on this guy's damage. Listen, he's gonna do this guy next to this support. It <laughs> listen, <laughs> just see for yourself. Maybe, hopefully, please. I I've seen this guy do like four million counters though. <laughs> Oh, we got the counter. All right, uh, this is unfortunate again. We're gonna die here, but uh, we did get the counter. So, two million before he even super attacked. By the way, nice. Sama no makedo. Mada mada shinenei na. Ome wo. So notice how that did 12 million damage before he super attacked. If he got the super attack, that does more damage there because, uh, like, he, he raises attack uh, for the turn, which affects that, and uh, we didn't crit. I don't know about you, but that's pretty good damage to me. All right, let's do this. Um, we should probably go ahead and transform the gods. Uh, they're not doing anything for us in their current states. So let's go ahead and transform them. All right, so since we died to the super attack there, uh, there's a good chance that Broly's either not supering on this turn, or if he is, it's at the very end, which would be good. Let's go ahead and use the God's active skill, too. I mean, listen, why not? We just, we need to get out of this phase. We, we can't be lingering against this Broly. Actually, we're going to save it. I was thinking about next turn. We're going to have STR Gogeta on rotation. So maybe we actually risk it. We try not to kill him on this rotation. And then we hope that we can just take him out next rotation before he can kill us. I think that's actually... Listen, this is risky. But we're going to go for this. I, I think this is the... The risky play is the smarter play. Because, I listen, I don't... I, I love STR Blue Gogeta. He cannot dodge in this fight. Um, and at 55%... Listen, he, he, he's just, he's simply not built like that. Now, there's a good chance we still kill Broly, because two of the units on rotation pretty much have a 50% chance to crit, and the gods have, like, a pretty decent chance as well. And, uh, I don't even know if we're gonna make it to the gods. We, we will see. Uh, it might be a little spooky for us. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little spooky for us here next turn, because, uh, we just used our revive. So next turn, we don't really have any tech to survive. Um... We will see. We will see. Alright, what, what are the attack placements looking like here? Oh, you're just gonna bless us with attack placements. I mean, that's pretty nice. Um, do I want to do this or this? Let's do this. Yeah, because that'll get them the 24 key. We can do this. Oh, I want the... Okay, yeah, there's two rainbow orbs. Good. That gets him 14% damage reduction. Better than nothing. And remember, this guy, we just saw, uh, even though you can't dodge in this fight now, they did the update so that all um, super attack counters are nullification encounters now as opposed to um, uh, dodge encounters. So you can actually dodge super attack... Well, I say dodge. You can nullify super attacks and counter them with this guy now. All right, now Gogeta's a little spooky. Normally in slot three here, he would have a, what is it, 50 or 70? 50 or 70. Give me give me half a second here. Yeah, so it's a great chance of evading enemy super attacks in slot three. So uh, it, against any other boss, basically, right now, he, he would have a 70% chance to dodge these three attacks. Or is it three or four? I think it's three, right? One, two, 
three. Yeah, so he would have a 70% chance to dodge those. Um, but as it sits, he's... Listen, we're probably going to die here. Uh, but we, we will see. All right. Let's just, uh, let's get it over with, right? This is a little spooky. Uh... We, we will, we will, we will see. It'd be really nice if Broly did, like, supers in slots 1 and 2, and not, uh, anywhere else. <laughs> Specifically slot 3. If you could just lay off a slot 3 for me, Broly, that'd be, uh, appreciated. Or just no supers on this turn. That'd be really cool. Yeah, and, you know, honestly, that'd be ideal. Listen, if I could put in a, put in a request for that, that'd be really nice. This is where having, uh, like, Orange Piccolo would be really nice, right? I mean, listen, I, I knew what I was doing bringing a 55% blue Gogeta into here against Broly, uh, a boss where you can uh, not dodge. But uh, we, 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 we will see, you know. Uh, I think Gogeta's going to get supered here. Depending on where Broly supers us on this turn, or like in this slot, um, that'll kind of determine whether or not we actually are prone to taking a super here. Just hopefully Gogeta can dodge it for us. You know, I, I can't ask for too much. He already, he already succeeded one coin flip. Asking for two is, uh, you know, listen, maybe I'm being greedy asking for two. He did give us the triple super, which is nice. Did some serious damage. I'd like to think that maybe he broke the super attack right there. Possible. Possible. Alright, so, Gogeta greatly raises defense for three turns on his ultra super attack. And then he greatly raises it for one turn on his 12 key. So we got basically a 100% defense raise. I forgot to look at what our defense was before we super attacked. But uh, I can't imagine it was high enough to actually tank normal. Oh, that's a lot more than I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> I knew he would take damage. I was thinking more along the lines of like 120k and not 300k per normal. Oh, Lord, Blue Gogeta. <laughs> Uh, okay. Do we do we want to hop in one more time? Maybe take Gogeta off the team? I can slide, like, uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan on the team instead. Like, I, I can take this guy off, and, uh, where is he? Uh, this guy. He's only, I think he's also, like, 55%. Yeah. But, uh, I think, I think that will do us a little bit better. <laughs> well, let, let's, let's hop back in, try to get back to, uh, back to AGL Broly. Alright, so we hop back in here. I figured I would just sh uh, show this turn and then I'll probably pause and cut again. Um, we're actually going to use the standby here with this Vegeta. We kind of got, we took a sh cheap shot from Broly against, we got like the, what was it? We got the double boo saga rotation again on turn one. And we took a cheap shot on the friend in slot three. So we took a little bit of damage here. So we're going to go ahead and transform into, or well, I guess stand by into the Vegeta here, the base form Vegeta and Goku while you charge the spirit bomb. Now, the way this works is every key sphere you collect uh, charges this little meter here, and I believe you need 39 key spheres to fully charge it. So, as you collect key spheres, it charges it up, and then uh, once it gets high enough, you can launch the spirit bomb. Really, starting next turn, you can launch it no matter what, but um, if you don't have enough, it won't do like the super spirit bomb. It'll do like a gimpy spirit bomb, and it won't be as good. So, you want to charge this up as much as possible. And then while you're in this state, this Vegeta is like a defensive wall. He has a ton of damage reduction based on how many orbs you get. He guards. He's just got high stats. So uh, he's really not going to take damage from anybody. Now, we are we going to die again here because Broly's going to like super us in the middle where there was one attack? That would be really annoying. Uh, <laughs> listen, there's unlimited attempts though. If we die again, I'll just uh, cut and come back again. Listen, this video is going to... We're going to get this done. Okay, listen, this video, this video might be an hour long. And I'll have to title it, like, The Broly Movie, or something. <laughs> God, I don't know what I'm titling this already. You know, like, first look at 8th Anniversary LRs. Tech Ultimate Gohan, better than, uh, Blue Gogeta. You know, we'll, we'll see what I end up titling this, uh, 
If we get supered here, I might title it, uh, The End of the Line. <laughs> uh, I died by a lot. <laughs> uh, please don't super me here, Broly, please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was sweating. Alright, we will, uh, we'll come back whenever, uh, you know, things are better. <laughs> We're running it back. <laughs> the first one didn't work. Run it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, now this is a little spooky because the friend here has a lot of super. I'm not worried about him. It's uh, this unit here. Where where do we think Broly's super in? In uh, slot two, slot three, nowhere. Uh, I don't know. This is going to heal us a bit. So let's do that. Just a bit. Uh, we need all these orbs. And then, uh, go, there we go. Okay, um, <laughs> uh, we might die here. I mean, if Broly supers us pretty much anywhere but slot one, I think we die. I think. Depends on what the gods want to do. Because the gods, the gods got zero stacks before I had to transform them, so, uh, they're not in the best situation ever. I thought we were going to die and revive last turn because Broly didn't, so in our AoE phase, right, we pretty much almost took him out in the first phase. Um, but he had a little bit of health left, and he didn't super us, so I thought maybe he might super us at the beginning of the next turn, so I transformed, or I stood by with this Vegeta, um, expecting to die, and then we didn't die, so then we came into this turn with, like, pretty low HP. Uh, luckily, though, that lets us stand by with the friend unit here, so, uh, I don't know, we're, we're just gonna roll with this, we'll see. If, if we die here, I'll probably just end it. Probably. I'm tempted to use an item, but let's just see what happens. You know, listen, I can only hold uh, these anniversary units' hands for so long. It, it's so weird that Broly is not just, like, immediately supering me. What is going on here with this? Super here? No. That could be good and bad. Because I think we can survive a super on the gods. They're type advantage. They're going to get a lot of defense on these super attacks here. And they're going to attack break him. So let's hope that maybe that was the super attack and they just attack broke it. And then he's not supering in slot 3. That would be really nice. It'd be nice if we had a scouter here. Um, but I don't have physical Piccolo easy aid. Um, also, nobody on this rotation would have a scouter anyway. Let's hope that was a super attack. Because, uh, again, we, this is two fights in a row now where Broly like has gone both, like, the entire turns without supering. Or at least, like, with us seeing a super. Let's, let's hope, please. I, I need, like, all four supers from you guys, too, by the way. Listen, I, uh... I can't stand that kind of uh, disappointment right now, so come on, just give, give me all four, please. That would be nice. There's two, here's three. Can we get one more? One more, please. I'm, I'm asking nicely, okay? I said please. You know, please, uh, let this be a normal field trip. You know, uh, is Broly the Frizz? Uh, yes, Broly is the Frizz. I, I think we're dead here. In fact, we are dead here. We're going to take 700k on this. Uh, we're, we're dead. Unfortunate, uh, you know, skill issue, Oof, 800k, yeah, listen, that's, this is my complaint with this unit, right, is, uh, their standby is really good, it'd be amazing if that standby had a scouter, can you imagine, that would be so good, alright, well, that's gonna be the end of the video, um, we're not gonna get the win here, but I feel like we got to see enough, I really would have liked to see the GT Spirit Bomb unit kind of, uh, revive and get, help us get the win here, it's definitely possible, uh, maybe I'll try again tomorrow. Again, it's unlimited attempts, so maybe I'll just keep trying until we get it. But I figure a 30-minute video here is enough footage for you guys to discern how this team is. So, 
Um, it's pretty good, but, you know, I'm kind of limited on my options here just because, uh, you know, here, here's kind of my box, right? It, it's definitely not the best here, and that team that I was running relies so heavily on dodge. Like, I'm probably going to do a Metal Cooler Core video right after this, and it's going to be a breeze, like, comparatively. Not going to be an issue at all. I'll probably run double Spirit Bomb. I'll run that team, or double GT Spirit Bomb. I'll, I'll, I will run that team instead. So, but yeah, you can you can kind of see here. You can definitely tell that my account has some decent units on it. But, uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't have a lot of my options that I have on Global. And, you know, some of the options I do have, like STR Gogeta here is, uh, you know, we, we don't got a lot going on in the hidden potential system. So we're, we're kind of limited. I need I should have done this guy's EZA, but I forgot to. And same with uh, Physical Vegito. I did part of his, but I never finished it. So maybe I'll get around to doing that. Where is he here? I have some of the medals, but uh, if I go to, like, what is this, Awaken? You can see I have some of them, but I, I, I never finished it, so it's like those two levels aren't really going to help with anything anyway. But, uh, you know, that, that's kind of where we're at in terms of, like, JP units. It's not like, oh, let me just go grab a better unit. It's like, well, I'm kind of already using the best units available to me, so. Anyway, that, that's all just complaining. Uh, th this video is long enough. Nobody's watching at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did make it to this point, I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to try on here. You know, I'll try my best with uh, the units I've got, so. Let me know what you guys think. Again, unlimited attempts if you are on JP or want to start JP. Uh, the movie Red Zone, unlimited attempts right now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Catch you guys in the next video.